there's a female tournament this year as well as the launch of the new 60, an exciting new tournament that is uh, set to be played before the actual CPL proper this year. Tell us a bit about what we can expect in this new format. Well, well, the 60 is, uh, is very exciting. It's, um, it, it, it's effectively a T10, um, but we've, uh, we've developed a number of new concepts within it that we think will be both engaging to players and fans. So, um, yeah, as the name suggests, it's 60 balls. Um, so the key innovations for us is there's, um, there's a, a power play option. So if the team batting hits two sixes in the first two overs, they get to unlock a, a third power play, much in the same way that kids unlock different levels of video games. So you know, we're very much trying to um, target that younger audience. Um, and of course, the one that I think is going to cause the most stir is, is the fan free hit. So we're going to randomly generate four balls during each innings. And um, once uh, the fans vote, obviously the, the, the ball that has got the most votes will be selected and that will then be a team free hit. So a team can score obviously whatever number of runs they get from that particular hit. So it, it's all very exciting. It's all very um, fan led, if I'm honest. Um, you know, these innovations, we'll see how they work, but uh, I think they'll go down very well. Um, and as you say, you know, the other big initiative is the women. I mean, that's for us, it's a slightly overdue, but to have both a T10 version for them and a T20. So the first, uh, you know, the WCPL will launch this year as well. So it's all very exciting, you know, lots going on with the new tournaments. And of course, we then got that other small little project called CPL, which is, um, you know, obviously uh, is, is massive for us and the region. So um, the fact the finals are obviously in Ghana is is hugely exciting um, and important. So, you know, there's a lot of planning that goes into that as well. And the 60 the format in terms of the teams that would be playing in this tournament? Exactly the same. So we've got our six franchise owners who have all um, fortunately agreed to play in it, which is fantastic. So uh, the squads will be slightly different. There'll be some adjustments from the um, T20 uh, squads. Uh, and again, what we try to do is focus on um, other local players, especially the ones that have done quite well in the local T10 tournament. So you'll see a few changes there, but not too many. Um, and, you know, the women, there'll be three teams. So again, it'll be Barbados, Trinidad and Guyana will have their three ladies teams uh, competing in the 60. So all very interesting and exciting. What would have prompted you to go along this line? Well, I think as we've spoken about before, you know, CPL has got a fantastic... Um, positioning it's the biggest party in sport it's there for six weeks of the year but you know we wanted to extend the opportunity both for players and fans um, to see what we think is is going to be a new electric format so you know we're going to play these 60 tournaments probably four or five times a year you know they're only from a wednesday to a sunday so it's a, it's a real really fast um, um fast game both in terms of actually the game is fast but also in terms of the tournament length so um, yeah, we're excited about where it will go.